welcome to Equipped Creatives, where I help people like you thrive. So we're talking about sleeping patterns today. Got my pajamas on. And if you're anything like me, that is a challenge. And I took the Sleeping Beauty Challenge that I created for myself, for my own health journey. And all it was, was trying to honor my schedule better. So honor my sleeping schedule. And I found I had a lot of internal pushback when it came to that, and I didn't quite succeed in my goal, but I did make progress. So let's talk about that. Why did I want to do this in the first place? Sleeping is so good for us, right? Because it benefits beauty, it benefits our emotional stability, it benefits our immune system, and it benefits our healthy weight goals. And there's more information on that in the, de in the description below. I started off on this month-long sleeping beauty challenge where I would just want to set aside time to wind down and then you know hopefully sleep for seven to eight hours or give myself space to do that and I found a lot of internal pushback because for the first part of the challenge is creating a healthy uh, helpful sleeping environment set aside time for sleeping and stick to it and for me I the internal pushback started with that because it interfered with my habit of going 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 until I dropped and it also interfered with my habit of letting other people take my time from me that I set aside for myself because I felt guilty if I set boundaries around my time I did not see myself worthy of investing in the time to rest and I'm being really vulnerable here but that is what it came down to you know that it was my work was more important than me taking time to rest for me to be more rested to do better work tomorrow and my and people in my life were more important um, than my own body's needs to rest but then I'm not able to be there as much as I want to be there for them in the next day right so those are things to think about when you are finding internal struggle with something that is a healthy habit that you want to start. So number one in creating a healthy environment for sleeping, make sure that you are taking time to, to rest and wind down so you can sleep for the hours that you need to. And yes, adults need seven to eight hours of sleep. We'll start there, okay. And then so next thing is lights. Avoid blue lights before you go to bed, right? So TV, any kind of screens, you want to avoid that or if, if I have them right with, yeah, I have them with me, my blue light glasses that actually have a tint to them. So this helps to block out more blue light. And this is from Pixel Eyewear. And I actually researched this quite a bit and these really have helped me. I haven't tried any other ones, but definitely if you're interested in checking these out, there's a discount code in the description for you. And the third tip is to use therapeutic grade seed to seal essential oils in a diffuser. So seed to seal, therapeutic grade essential oils are great to help support healthy sleeping patterns because number one, uh, the scent will trigger our limbic system, which is where our emotions are stored, to relax as we start to set that as part of the schedule to sleep. So eventually, as soon as we smell that smell that we put in the diffuser, it's going to trigger our brain to be like, oh, it's bedtime. And then number three, number, okay, we did one, two, three, Four, stretch or try relaxing techniques. So I have a morning stretch routine that you can also use for bedtime. It's very helpful for that. And that's actually what I do for bedtime as well. So check out that in the, in the playlist here. You'll look up some really nice bedtime stretches on YouTube. So there's so many good ones out there. Just find the one that works for you. And then reset. Number one, two, three, four, five okay all right reset so if you are feeling like okay you're doing all the things but your body is just not uh, wanting to go to bed and you're still wound up then you know hit reset go walk around your house you know read a book don't look at your screen though but read a book uh, sit down walk around your house if you need to just drink a cup of water and try to wind down that way until you're ready to sleep so those are just a few tips that have helped me as I am learning to set aside set aside time, which is very hard emotionally sometimes still. I'm not going to lie. There are times where I uh, struggle with the time management part of this because I, for the same reasons that I had before, it's just, it's just hard sometimes. 
but it's great to be around people that support me in my decision and communicating that, yep, it's time for me to go to bed and people that respect that, that is, uh, what, that is what you want to surround yourself with. That is what helps you in any success with any healthy goal. So something to think about. I hope that encourages you. I hope this gives you some ideas. And yeah, and just to share, like I am still on my own health journey and it's not perfect. So, but it's, it's beautiful. And it's not about perfection. It's about excellence and trying. Success is in the trying, guys. And here, I want to show you how easy a diffuser is too. Because sometimes that can be uh, something that people are unfamiliar with. So this is my diffuser and I love it. And what I do, I take the top off and it has an inner top and I take that off. Uh, I put this, put water in it and I fill it up to the line that's inside. And then whoop, I'm going to take my essential oils. So these are C to seal therapeutic grade essential oils that are great for, whoop, for sleeping. And so that was roughly like four drops. I would normally do like three drops and then I'm going to take, I do, I do a couple ones because in the, for this one, just because I like it. Oh, and actually that's empty. So we're just going to do the one, which that's fine. And I'm going to put that outer, that inner top on, then the outer top. I'm going to hit the button that turns it on. And then this is the light button and it has different colors. So whatever my mood is for nighttime, uh, let me see if I can find it. The one that I like the best is the candlelight flickering one. So yeah, that's the one. So yeah, and that I have that going for about 30 minutes before I go to bed. So thank you so much for joining us today. And if you like this video, go ahead and like it and subscribe to our channel. And Check out the links below for more information on how you can connect with our community and be equipped to fulfill your calling for the long haul. All right, have a great rest of your day. Bye.